Hello, uh, my name is Finn, and I'm Two Cat Brewery's son, and I'm doing a tutorial on Action Replay DSi, not DS, DSi, don't get it confused. So, um, well, the first thing is that you have this, uh, Action Replay cartridge here, there it is. Sorry, it's backwards. I'm using an iPod Touch, so I'm using the different one. And the game that we're using is Super Mario Brothers DS. And so you're just gonna want to. Oops, I just gotta. Ah, sorry, okay. So you take the action replay here and you put it into the back just like you would a regular game. And before doing this, you wanna uh, slip this in, just like it's regular, the game. So now, it disguised as a uh, Game & Watch by Nintendo, but it's actually not licensed or anything. See this big list, don't pay attention to it. It's just like, the thing. it's totally unnecessary actually. But, uh, yeah, just wait for it to stop, and I'll show you. I, I, I've just done a previous video. Press A on the codes. It should say the name. I'm just going to reset it here. So, as you can see, this is a checklist. And... So when you start, it should see that add new code thing. I know it's backwards, but you can see it, right? Okay, so the one down must be on. I have no idea what that one is. Hope it's good. 99 coins is cool because you always have 99 coins up in the corner. And so every coin you get, you get an extra life. But you really don't need that because if you do the infinite lives thing, it just gets you a ton of lives. So even if you die, then you still have a bunch of lives. Invincible is cool, but I'm not sure I really want to use it right now. So, uh, big jumps. This one's awesome. So, if you're in a level, you just press A twice, and then keep pressing A when for jumping, and you'll, like, fly around. It's awesome. So, uh, I'm going to flick that one on. Open all worlds. You get all the worlds in Super Mario Bros. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to do it. Open all levels. I won't do that. It's still pretty cool, though. All coins finish levels. You get all the star coins whenever you finish a level, even though you you've uh you haven't gotten the star coins yourself. These ones are really useful. I don't know why they have this whole list. The first ones always have fire flower power up, always have always have big mushroom, always have blue shell, always have mini mushroom, always have giant mushroom. So the first one really is Press R or Alt button to cycle through the uh, various power-ups. So, I'm going to turn that one on. So, the weird thing about this is that, like, it's British. I don't know if, uh, I mean, that's not the weird thing, but you have to tap, tap start game twice. Then press that twice. That's sort of hard, but you can just press A if you wanted. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, show you all these. Uh, so I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. So I'm here in World 1. I just started a new account. I've actually beaten the game once. So I'm just going to do a tutorial for you on World 1-1 one, one here. So, see this R RL button here? You can see that thing on the bottom. It changes when you press it. I've already got the show on, so I'll just do that. So, uh, yeah, check this out. See, you can sort of fly around there. And see, every coin you get, you get an extra life. It really helps when you don't want to fall down holes. Uh, I'm going to turn into a giant mushroom here. I'm just 
Oh, the same level. I'm just gonna... See, um, with the big jumps, if you go high enough, you can actually go farther than the flagpole, though. But sadly, you can't, like, go farther than the castle. Because here's this wall. But I mean, you could stand on the castle, which is sort of fun. But, yeah, there's that. Okay, and you notice that I have 99 lives. And I have, you can't see it, but I have 220 star coins. And, uh, there's this all levels. Tree. I'm actually not sure what that little bubble is right there. I think it's just a glitch, but I'm not sure. It like copied it. I, I really don't know what that is. So uh don't don't like go on any glitch houses. Like if you finish the game with uh the all levels on and you have one of the mushroom houses right here, then uh Make sure you get the mushroom houses before you finish the end of the game with this because it can really screw up your game. That's what happened to me, so that's why I put a new account. So, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I The all world street gets you all the worlds, all the levels, street, all the levels and all the worlds. Uh, I've got two little stars. I have all the star coins. I spent a couple of them. You actually get... 235 or something i'm not sure but uh yeah and that's pretty much the end so i the next video will be completely dedicated to uh putting new codes on this i'm not sure how but right now but uh i'll do the next video soon and i hope you i hope this gives you some good information see you next time